Hi all, this is Animesh and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to learn a very important test that is ANOVA test. This is widely used in industry for data science and data analysis use cases. So it is a very important skill to master. So let's begin. So what is ANOVA test? ANOVA stands for analysis of variance. It is a statistical test used to analyze the difference between the means of two or more groups. In simple terms, this test will tell us whether two or more distributions are same or not. So before we begin to do hands-on in Python how to do this test, we first need to understand when we need to use this test and what are the example of this test and also what are the assumptions of this test and what if those assumptions are not met what other tests are available for us so when are we going to use this test the first is that this is a test for numerical variable versus a categorical variable now what can be an example of this example can be there are three countries country a country b country c and each of these country is a category and within them is the elements of the heights of the individuals 5 feet 6 feet 7 feet like that now the second important aspect is that this is a parametric test so when we want to use a parametric test for distributions we use ANOVA test so ANOVA actually does is it compares the variances within the group and variances across the group and what will be the output of this it will give us a p-value and that p-value will determine whether the means of these distributions of each category are same or not if even a single group is showing difference in the mean then this test will say that the distributions is not equal or one of the distributions of all these three or more distributions are not equal now moving on to its assumptions its assumption says that each sample is drawn from a normally distributed data that is the population from which in each group the samples will be drawn is normally distributed then comes the second assumption that the selection of samples is independent of each other group so in each other group there is no dependency while selecting the samples and the third important assumption is that the variances of each of these groups are equal or it can be assumed nearly equal because in ideal scenario in a practical scenario it will vary slightly but in an ideal scenario it will be equal so these are the three important assumptions of ANOVA if these are met then you can apply ANOVA test for the data but if these assumptions are not met so if data fails to comply with these assumptions then we go for the non-parametric test which I told you before this assumptions and there is a one test which is called crucial test which is used in the scenario of non-parametric test requirement now let's jump into the hands-on now that we have a data of country A country B and C that has heights of the individuals and we have taken their samples now we want to know whether these three distributions are equal or not so our test is going to check whether they have the same mean or not now the null hypothesis will be all the three variables have same mean in other words same distribution and the alternative hypothesis says the mean of one or more samples is not equal or having different distribution now what I'm going to use is this the scipy stats library and I am going to call f1 way so when I'm going to call f1 way 
in the parenthesis I am going to pass the list of each category variables so country A country B and country C list containing the heights of the individuals and then I'm going to execute it so I get the result as statistics as well as the p-value now we see the p-value is much much greater than say 5% alpha so it is 77% so in that scenario we fail to reject the null hypothesis that means it says that all these three distributions are equal so we have created a if else statement mentioning if the p-value is greater than 5% then the distributions are same that is it fails to reject the null hypothesis and in other case if it would have been less than 5% that means it, it doesn't have enough confidence and it says that the distributions are different or at least one of the distributions are is different and we reject the null hypothesis so let's execute this and we get the distributions are same because the p-value is 77 percent which is quite high in contrast to the alpha that we have decided so this is how you can apply ANOVA to your data before you do any kind of validation or any machine learning operation or you want to do some testing of distribution on your data hope you guys like this video please do subscribe to my channel and i'll see you on the next video till then bye bye